Pugh Hartford shall be his protector. The council shall be informed of my decision. Sir. He trusts you. Guard him well. No, I... I am tired. Go to him and explain his folly. Go to him and explain his folly. So, uh, 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 Enter. My Lord Hartford. I thank you, Master Cheek. It is Majesty's command. I pray you, sir, leave us. My Lord, if your highness will permit. My Lord the King commands for weighty reasons of state that the prince shall hide his infirmity in all ways that are within his power till it be passed and he is as he was before. I am now as I was then, save for these clothes. Sir, it is this very talk that hurts your father so. My father? Nothing hurts him save musty ale. It is his grace's most ardent wish that you deny to no man that you are the true heir to England's greatness, that you uphold your princely dignity and cease to speak of this lowly birth your malady has conjured out of strange imaginings. But my lord! Sir, this is the king's command. None may deny him. The king has said it. King shall be obeyed. Your victuals not to your liking, your royal highness. Eat it up, Tom. Eat it up. There are those whose need is greater than mine. <laughs> He's more fool than madman. <laughs> Only a fool would give his meat away. He knows not what he's doing, John. Oh, but he does, wife. He's trying to teach us a lesson. Not to think of ourselves all the time, but to think of others and to give kindly to them. We should be grateful for his charity and not too proud to accept. Thank you, my son. I gave it to the girl! Oh, what did you it? say? I gave it to the girl! <laughs> You scum! You dirty, untutored scum! Does poverty turn every man afflicted by it into such a beast as you? I think not. You'd have been evil and heartless anywhere. Oh, no, John. No, no. No, the boy's sick in the head. He knows not what he's saying. You're beating him will only make his madness worse. He'll be of no use to you then. He didn't mean what he said. He's sorry. Are oh, you not, Tom? You're sorry. I'm sorry. You don't know your own son, woman. Maybe I should beat you, eh? For not doing your duty, for not teaching him to respect his father, eh? Maybe that's what I ought to do, eh? Leave that's her! True, eh? I'm sorry. Pour me some ale, woman. Remember well. The prince has some slight malady. No matter how unusual his behavior, you will continue with your duties as though all were normal. His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales. All sit. They await your command, Highness. Please be seated. What's this? It is your napkin, sir. But why 
Why should I want a cloth about my neck? It is customary. But the material is so fine. And I may soil it with my food. Please take it away. are these? Turnips, sir, and carrots. Do you eat? Indeed. <laughs> it is good. <laughs> if you will remember, until recently these things had to be brought from Holland, but now they are grown in England. Perhaps one day all Englishmen will eat them. Yes, that must surely be. Such meat! If you would eat, sir, then all may do so. Understand why no one searches for me. Why don't you sleep? Sleep? My head is full of such strange thoughts, even of treason. Could it be that your son? Your mind is all tired and muddled. Go to sleep. Let nature do her mending. When the truth is known, I shall reward you for your kindness. Pretty taste, but it lacks in strength. I would like to go to my room. Of course. Elsewhere. With our young prince, perhaps. Where else? Plainly, then. What do you think? What do I think, Lord Suffolk? You forget the king's command. Would you have me speak treason? The king is near his end. The prince is mad. Mad will mount the throne and mad remain. God protect England, she will need it. One thing is sure. Hartford, once protector, will be king in all but name. We, my dear Rushton, are finished. Then we must act quickly, discredit Hartford, and make favorable our own position. Use this strange madness to our advantage. Until perhaps we choose to end it. Then we agree. Then we agree.
you didn't get you, and I'm grateful for your services. The king, my father, shall hear of it, and your courage. <coughs> I had a cough once. I was given honey for it. It made me better. Until... You better go now. The dawn is breaking. For your sake, Tantri, let's hope it's time enough. What's your business? They found the priest. He's dead. Dead? Struck dead, and the finger points at you, Cantri. Could I never touch him? Too late for lying. Take heed from a friend and run before they stretch your neck. Now listen. We're meeting at Barham Wood. Barham Wood? Yeah, aye, on the Chatham Road. Oh. We're meeting in the old barn. We? Who's we? Friends of yours. We'll band together and give ourselves some strength. Now find your way there, and you'll be safe. But make haste. The watch will be out soon. Right. One word of this, you hear? One word. You're coming with me. No! John! Oh, look, he saw, didn't he? How long do you think it will be before they start to worm it out of him? Come on. Go on, get out. Oh. Quiet, will you? Oh, good. Stop it. Stop it, you. Let them not be taken. 